Hey, what's going on, you guys? Um, I do apologize if you're hearing some sound effect in the background. That's the uh, that's the AC going on. But today we're looking at episode 12 of sorry about that of Red versus Blue. It's titled Blue versus Red. Huh. Well, it's titled Blue versus Red. It's eight. It's almost nine minutes long, and we're gonna go at it. So. Hold up, let me see if all good. Alright, without further ado, let's put on the video. Sir, they're making another push. So, shoot back. Victory is close at hand. Their flag must be around here somewhere! But we're completely- What? Nothing! A soldier follows orders no matter what! You do what I tell you, son! Yes, sir! What? Wait, what? Does this take place before? Yeah, it, it probably does take place before. Turn fire, Krona! With what? We're out of ammo! I'm shooting blanks over here! In that case, we're gonna have to resort to Plan B. Plan B? You're very mad! You have table manners that leave much to be desired! You Oh Sir, shit! Let me try. Not happening. Don't. Oh, come on! How come you always get the sniper right? Because you're busy getting the prisoner. Also because go fuck yourself. Ah! <laughs> uh. Mamma mia! They got Lorenzo! Quest unknown, Ila mia, Domenica, perfect. That's right! We got your fucking robot! Now give us back our face or we smash the Goomba! Whoa! The Goomba? Dude, what the hell? It is. A Goomba, like in Mario. It's still racist. Whatever. Everyone. Oh, it looks like they can understand him. We're gonna find out what kind of feeling is inside this cannoli. Oh. Oh no. What are we gonna do? Ideas, anybody? Ooh, I got one. If you guys had to get shot somewhere in your body, who's that guy? Where would you do it? Not now, Biff. We're in the middle of war. Biff. Legit question, dudes. How about the future? Back to the future. Coming for ages. Are you crazy? All the nerves in your whole body end in your toes, idiot. I want to take a bullet, not feel pain. Is that well, Jeff? I hope that's Jeff. Oh, and they have Lorenzo, Surge. Blast! We can't let them keep the robot. I've hit all our top secret battle station plans in that droid. We'll have to hold I keep forgetting that the guy who voices Gira in Ruby is is is, is uh is the voice for Surge. If you did not know that. Kent Williams. Your base are belong to us. Surrender now and we'll spare your meaningless lives. Christ, this song again. Who's your negotiator? <laughs> Me. No deal. Your last two parlays ended with literal backstabbing. Send someone else. How about Biff? He's expendable if the talks break down. Yeah, whatever. The butt? Are you insane? That's right next to my Jingo Jingos, okay? Bullets splinter. How about the arm? Arteries. Oh, the ear. What? Yeah, I can't hear you because somebody had shot my ear off. No way. Oh, there's gotta be some part of the body that's expendable. You just need to get shot in the appendix. If only I was a book. Bim! Bim! Stab a Emily in the back! Okay? Was that supposed to be Pig Latin? Pig Latin? Preferably before they find my master What, what? Stop it, man. Stop what? You're staring at me. I am not. R2. I know what you're thinking. No, you don't. This is all my fault. I didn't, look, I didn't say a thing. Well, you're right. Okay? I'm guilty. Whoa, can we talk about this later? All right, everyone is staring at us. Fine. What? Uh, treat you to a base for a robot. Yeah, dude. It was the same damn shit with the same damn idiots. They get a thing, we steal the thing, we get a tank, they blow it up. It's like living in a fucking Looney Tunes cartoon. Yeah. We didn't know it yet. But all that was about to change. So they're explaining what happening. Halt! Who goes there? Uh, it's me. Going off 
Patrol. No? You're talking to your best friend! What? Me! Oh, right, yeah, of course I am. Loco, why don't you get some sleep? <laughs> okay! Yeah. Stop pretending to sleep. Whatever. Yeah, whatever? Jesus. <laughs> what? Did you say Sky Puppet? What the hell? Hey, you remember Pearson's class, history freshman year? Uh, what are they I best friends? Someone drawing dicks on my notebook every time. Ha <laughs> ha! <laughs> Old classic oh, stuff. Did those notebook checks. <laughs> to look at your stupid face. <laughs> Fucking asshole. What are you bringing that up for? Georgina was in that class. That's when we met. I remember. It took you two years to finally ask her out. And that was a fun day. Fun. Right. Yeah, you managed to unite the entire fucking cafeteria in a slow clutch. <laughs> uh, we should have joined the fucking Coast Guard. Yep. Yep. I bet the Coast Guard doesn't divide its people into teams and have them shoot at each other with loaded assault rifles. Oh, they actually do. They just use harpoon guns instead. Harpoon guns? What? Huh? So you two were friends before the service. You knew each other. Yeah, that's right. We grew up together. We enlisted together. Buddy team, they called it. Freelancer overlooked that fact when they assigned us to opposite teams in the same canyon. We found that fact out later. Was that at the freelancer? This isn't an interview, Dylan Andrews. Shut the fuck up and listen. The conversation inevitably turned to the same place it always did. Do you ever wonder what the fuck we're doing here? Like, all the goddamn time? The way I see it, it's got to be some super important government shit. Some, like, critical testing stuff. When we get out, there's going to be medals, awards, fucking parades for us, dude. For you. Not me, I'm getting out soon. Yeah? Yeah, medical discharge. For real? I'm not fucking with you. This whole situation is garbage enough to begin with, but at least we're in it together. We're in it against each other, if you haven't noticed. You know what I mean. Ah! <laughs> I would never do that to you. Red team out of shore leave a while back. And it's not coming back to her. When a wall stood away on a transport. For real? Yeah, it wasn't easy, but I had to see Georgina. Keeping the old flame alive. Wait, she hasn't moved on. No, dude, it's super serious between us. That's why I need to get back. I don't want. I thought it was you me one, Jeff, but, but it doesn't sound yeah, like him yeah. anymore. I'm the only reason you're fucking here. You know, if I had frequent flyer miles for every one of your guilt trips, I could cover your entire ride back to Earth. Ha! So you're in? The way I see it, it's my job to shoot you anyway. Hey, they might give me a medal for this. That's a spirit, all right. So, brass tacks, my pinky finger, I need you to shoot it off, all right? I've thought about it a lot, and that's going to be my best bet. Done. I've been waiting to shoot you since we were kids. Wait, what? Right, not now. We need witnesses, reports and shit, all right? I'll make the pension when I get out. I can show you now for practice. Oh, no, oh, no don't. I think we can try a bunch of places and you can let me know what hurts the least. Brilliant. Semi or full auto? Riddle me with holes. Thank God. I Riddle me this, Close Batman. For. <laughs> the plan was simple. Biff gets hurt, gets a medical discharge. First class ticket back home. But you know what they say. No plan survives first contact with the enemy. Wait, what? Uh oh, that does not look good. Wait, that's it? Oh come on, really? Oh man, I thought I, I thought it, I thought we were gonna hear the whole story. That was just too short. No fair. That was so not fucking fair. Hmm. So that ship approaches the planet they're in. It could be the uh, the Charon. I, I forgot what it's called. The Charon or whatever. The one that the freelancers were in. Maybe that's what. Maybe that's um that's why he knows Carolina. Maybe they went over there and they just accidentally kill Biff or whatever. Who knows? We'll have to find out in the next episode. 
But yeah, it was an enjoyable episode, and uh, yeah, that, that's a pretty good back, um, pretty neat backstory and all that. At least, well, at least now we know that they had a orange uh, soldier named Biff, like Biff from Back to the Future. <laughs> I so want to sneeze, but I can't. Oh well. All right, that's about it, you guys. If you guys want to check out my other red versus blue reactions, I'll be leaving a link in the description below. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe, and I'll see you all later. Can't guess wrong, the result is death. Adrenaline filled like a kidney, middle and gotta get away from this bullshit. Middlemen push to the max, no time to relax. Cause if we ain't swift, we face the next.